But if you die to the flesh, Jesus said, he who lays down his life shall surely find it. Thank you, Jesus. If you will die for Jesus, you will live with him forever. Pastor, you don't understand, Pastor. I'm not used to suffering. I'm not used to chamekino. I'm not used to that. Prala, the Bible says, those who suffer with him shall reign with him. You know what this what the reign means? It means to rule. It means to ask out of Umparato. What did he say when they came to him and they said, Grant for one of us to sit on the right side and the other one to sit on the left side. He said, this is not for me to give. But it's for him who overcomes. It's been appointed to him who overcomes. You see, you can come to a place where you die to your flesh, where you die to sin, where you die to your desires, where you die to your pride, where you die to kiroparikamos, and you become a fool for Christ's sake. And when you do that, then you have truly fallen in love with Jesus. When you do that, you can say that you love him with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul, and all of your strength. When you do that, then you'll be able to say to God, as the deer panteth for the water brooks, so doth my soul. Because he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Church, do you want to know? Do you know yeah, how much of it, how many of us have been to a pawn shop? I've been there. You pawn some akai? I've been there. What do they do? They take it and they got this little stuff that they put on it. And they see how it reacts. And if it reacts the right way, they know. You know what that's called? It's called the litmus test. Do you want to know what the litmus test is in Jesus? Do you want to know what the test is that if you love God, keep his commandments? Amen. Amen. I love God. But probably, you know, Musa Khas. I love God. But God has some skado. I love God. But Musa Hadas, Musa Churas, Home Sam. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm gonna tell you right now. Ogom, Wurke Homni, Gai Pire Kulin Leng Homes, Leng Homnya, I Pire Peo Prapa Lenne. They do not love that person. They do not. And church, whether you forgot this, you are married to Christ. And in the scriptures, he says that when you fall into sin, ye adulterers and adulteresses. When you decide that the casino is your friend, when you decide that Hataimas is your friend, when you decide that Gesuda is your friend, you make yourself an adulterer and an adulteress. Because you don't really love God. Church, does anybody love the Lord? In closing, the word says this. Before I get there, I'm going to say this. Did you know that everywhere that the word love appears in the Bible, that you could actually take the word love out? Because, by the way, the word love is a verb. You know what that means? That means that love is not a feeling. Love is not something you say. Love is something you do. And you could take the word love and you could replace it with the word commitment. And it fits. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For God was so committed to the world that he gave his only begotten son. For God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. But God commended his commitment toward us in while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. If you're committed to me, keep my commandments. Are you committed to him? Are you committed to him? 
Have you dedicated every part of your life to him? The Bible says, whatsoever you do in word and deed, whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Church, are you doing things that you can put Jesus' name on? Are you living a life that you could put Jesus' name on? Praise you, Jesus. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. And he said to them, All, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. What did he say? Take up his cross daily. What does it mean when you take up your cross? You're going to die. I'm going to die to what I want. I'm going to die to what I think I need. Let's all stay in church.